Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET how to show validation summary control on jQuery model pop-up. And here we got the output after adding the validation summary control and jQuery model pop-up dialog script. And I click login button without adding any email and password login. See here we got the model dialog pop up with the validation summary. Email is required and password. Let's close this. See it's exploding. When I enter charan at gmail.com, click login. Now this time we got the validation error for the password is required. Right now in this source page contains a simple custom login details which is a email and password with some required field validator. Let's check the output how it looks the designing part before adding the validation summary control using jQuery model pop-up. Google Chrome and here we got the output of that code which contains two text box control and one login button. When I click login button and see here we got the validation error messages. Now my aim is instead of displaying the error messages here on the browser, I want to display all the error messages on the validation summary control using jQuery model dialog pop-up. Let's switch back to the source code. We'll add the jQuery script and validation summary control. Let's stop debugging. But the first thing I'm adding the property in the required field validator when I click button control I don't want to display this required field validator so I'm making display none let's copy this one and paste here for the password required field validator now I'm adding the validation control below the button control inside the do control. The do id is equals to validation summary style display none. Now inside this do container I am adding the validation summary Go to toolbox, come to the bottom, in the validation section, the last one is the validation summary, click that one. I am adding the property, the four color red, here. Now I don't require any more this property in the required field validator. So I am deleting these properties. That's it, we have done the designing part. Now, now we are adding, when we want to add the jQuery script, we need the latest jQuery CDN links. For that, let's visit google.com. Latest jQuery CDN Google and check the first link hosted libraries and notice here in the content section the jQuery click that one and I'm choosing the latest snippet 3.3.1 copy this one and pasting here let's again switch back to the Ajax Google ABI website now this time I'm choosing jQuery UI this snippet contains two links one for the CSS theme and second one for the jQuery UI.mini.link JS link copy both and paste here to adding the jQuery CDN links now inside the form tag I'm adding script I'm creating a function web form underscore on submit method dollar 
between double quotes here I'm adding the do ID validation summar summary hash dot when I click the button control the dialog box will open so I'm using the dialog I'm adding title for the model dialog pop-up title validation validation summary comma and I'm making the resizable for the model pop-up is false resizable between double quotes comma false now I'm adding some animation to the model dialog pop-up show effect bounce comma I'm adding the time which is a duration 2000 comma when I close the model pop-up hide effect explore the duration time is 2000 after I close the model pop-up return false that's it we have done the coding part let's check the results on the browser Google Chrome And here we got the output after adding the validation summary control and jQuery model pop-up dialog script. And I click login button without adding any email and password login. See here we got the model dialog pop-up with the validation summary. Email is required and password. Let's close this. See it's exploring. When I enter charan at gmail.com, click login. Now this time we got the validation error for the password is required. This theme is a default one. I want to change that one. So to change the theme, go to Google. Ajax jQuery theme ASP.NET. Click the top one jQuery UI Microsoft Ajax CDN. See here we got the themes. For this demo purpose, I'm using the black tie. Let's copy this link. Switch back to the source code. Stop debugging. Before adding the new theme, check the version is 1.11.4. But we are using the version 1.12.1. So we just need this black tie theme name. Delete this smoothness. Paste here. Now we don't require this CSS link. That's it. Let's check the again final output. The new theme is added or not. Google Chrome. I'm clicking login and see here we got the new theme and I close it's explored that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos